Electrophysiology is commonly used to study the activity of recombinant voltage-gated ion channels in cultured human embryonic kidney cells. Successful recording requires that the cells express channels at sufficient levels at the cell membrane for detection and that the cells be plated at a low enough cell density for isolation of individual cells. Performing cell recordings is frequently hampered by the long incubation periods at 28 degrees Celsius needed for such expression, where there is typically a loss of cell adhesion and membrane stability. Here, an optimized method for cell culture and transfection is demonstrated that circumvents these problems. The cells are transfected at a moderate confluency, then incubated at 28 degrees Celsius until adequate ion channel expression is achieved. The transfected cells are then plated onto glass cover slips at low density and incubated at 37 degrees Celsius for several hours to allow for cell attachment and membrane restabilization. Once appropriately plated, cells are then identified by co-expressed EGFP and whole cell patch clamp recording can be performed. Or, the cells can be once again incubated at 28 degrees Celsius to further increase channel surface expression. Results from recording experiments on cells transfected with voltage-gated calcium channels such as LCAV1, LCAV2, or LCAV3 indicate that the channels have been successfully transfected and expressed by the cells, although only representative results for LCAV3 are shown. In our laboratory, we have developed a method to enhance the expression of poorly expressing ion channel genes for patch clamp recording in human cell lines. Now, the conventional approach is to first split the cells on the cover slips and transfect with plasmid cDNAs containing the ion channel genes, and then incubating for many days.